First of all, this is the time of order. This is a season of bringing things in order, but that season has a definite marker that you need to pay, you need to pay attention and really listen to the voice of the Lord. And when he tells you something is out of order, you need to move on that because you have a window of opportunity. The second word I hear is alignment. There's some misalignment and it will hinder your walk. It will hinder your ability to lift in the duties that God has given you. If your back is not in proper alignment, you cannot lift heavy weight. And God has put a heavy anointing on this region. So I speak and release over New Jersey right now that you are in alignment, that the apostolic is coming in alignment, that the fivefold is coming in alignment, that God is strengthening you to be able to lift with the anointing that he's given you to release over this nation the prophetic word and the destiny that you are determined by Holy Spirit to do. The next word I hear is thawing. Now, I don't know if that's because I'm from the south and I left 70 degrees to come up here this morning to 10 degrees, but I'm hearing the word thawing, that there is a thawing, that there have been so many cold hearts that the enemy has put a cold blanket over New Jersey, New York, Connecticut, Delaware, that, that the enemy has just come in and tried, I'm putting this out, there will be no fire, but I declare in the name of Jesus that this is the season of burning, that New Jersey will burn with the fire of the Holy Ghost, that New York will burn with the fire of the Holy Ghost, that Connecticut will burn with the fire of the Holy Ghost, that Massachusetts will burn with the fire of the Holy Ghost, that there will be an all-consuming fire that falls over the Northeast and God is burning out corruption. He is burning out disillusionment. He is burning out depression. He is burning out anxiety. He is burning out fear. He is burning out complacency and he's bringing a new zeal to fall on this land in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. The next word I hear is character. God is dealing with character, and character is developed best in relationships. The, the, the danger about the disintegration of the family is that the character of the next generation is not being formed because mothers and fathers form character. And so your gifting, your talent can take you to a place where your character cannot keep you. And this is not a sprint. This is a marathon. We're not looking for the trumpet to sound so we can escape. We are looking to occupy until he comes. And that means I'm digging my feet into the ground and I am going to be a man of God, a man of integrity, a man of honesty, a man of virtue, a man of holiness. I'm going to allow Holy Spirit to deal with the unsettled places in my life. The next thing that I'm hearing is that this is a new season of emergence. That God is calling some who have been disillusioned out of the cave. God is calling you out of the cave. Your depression cannot hold. I break the spirit of depression off of you and every generational curse that has tried to keep you down. And I come specifically against the spirit of suicide that tries to take out so many in Jesus' name. Come out of the cave. God is calling some out of the prison. You've been held captive. You have family members that have been chained. They've had chains of bondage over their life. Chains of addiction. Chains of enslavement. I break those chains in Jesus name and I declare an emancipation right now in the spirit. He whom the son has set free is free indeed. I declare freedom, righteousness, holiness, and peace over your bloodline. Every generational curse is broken. Your children will not be bound by a Addiction. Alcohol and drugs have no authority over you, over your bloodline, over your generation. In the name of Jesus. And I hear the Lord is calling some out of the wilderness. You've been in the wilderness. You have heard the call to Canaan. I've got a promise, and you've gone after that promise. But it seems like you've spent 20 years in the desert. 
But I declare over you, you are not a part of the generation that dies in the wilderness. That your children are not waiting on you to die so that they can go into the promised land. I declare that you are a part of the Joshua and Caleb generation and that you will possess everything that God has for you. You will be what he has called you to be. You will do what he has called you to do. You will not die in the wilderness. I declare streams in the desert. I declare in the desert around you that you are a well-watered garden, that you will flourish, that you will bring forth fruit, that you will walk in your anointing, that there will be fruit of righteousness that follows you. You will be what God has called you to be. In Jesus' name, say that. Testify. I will be what God has called me to be. You need to get up in the morning. If you've been struggling with this, you need to get up in the morning and look in the mirror and say, I am a man of God. I am a woman of God. I am a prophet. I am an apostle. I am a teacher. Whatever it is that God's called you to, speak into your identity and come into alignment with what God says about you. Come into alignment with what the Word says about you. Come out of the wilderness in Jesus' name. And then I want to release some specific things from Joel chapter 2 because I keep hearing this and I've heard it again this morning. In Joel chapter 2 verse 18, the Lord will be zealous. and some, trans, someone, some translate that jealous for his land and pity his people. And that word pity in the Hebrew means to commiserate. I mean, that's like God feels your pain. He understands what you're going through. And it's implying that he is going to spare, he is going to have compassion, he is going to have pity on you. So you understand that you're not, you are not a pitiful person. You are a conqueror. You are, a, a, you are victorious. You are more than anything the devil ever dreamed he was going to have to deal with. And the Lord is jealous over you. And he has come to New Jersey to rescue the spirit of rescue has been released over this land. And he goes on in verse 19, the Lord will answer and say to his people, Behold, now you need to open your spirit and get this. I will send you grain, new wine, and oil. And this is what I hear the Lord saying over New Jersey, over the Northeast, New York, Connecticut, over all of these states in this region, that God is sending grain. Grain is provision, and I hear abundant provision. So I come in agreement with the prophetic word that Patricia released, that God is causing you to be wealth gatherers so you can be kingdom builders in Jesus' name. God is bringing wealth into you, but it's wealth for a purpose. It's wealth not just for your family. A righteous man leaves an inheritance to his children's children. God's going to anoint you for that, but that wealth is going to build the kingdom. So I call forth right now, grain, grain from the heavens. Grain is coming. Your vats will overflow. You will be a man, a woman of abundance. You will not skimp by. You will not barely make it through. You will walk in the abundance that God has determined. Just lift up your hands and say, give it to me, Jesus. Come on, give it to me, Jesus. I want it all. I want all of it. I'll be a good steward. Come on, make a covenant with him. I will be a good steward of what you put in my hands. If you give it to me, Lord, I understand that you just put it here for me to steward. It's not mine. It belongs to you, Lord. And however you want me to use it, that's how I want to use it, God. And then the Lord said, new wine, new wine, new wine, come on, new wine, new wine. I want the new wine. I don't want the old, I don't want the stale, I don't want the stinking religion of the past. I want a new move of the Holy Ghost. I want a new move in my life. I want a new move in my family. I want a new move in the Northeast. New wine, give me new wine. 
I'm desperate for new wine. I'm tired of the old. I'm tired of the haggard. I need new wine. Come on, lift your hands and claim it right now. I claim that new wine in Jesus' name. I will not be a part of a past move of God. I am a part of the now move of God. Now faith is. And then the last thing is oil, fresh oil. Come on, lift your hands and proclaim fresh anointing right now. Fresh anointing right now in Jesus' name. I need a fresh anointing. I need an anointing today. I need an anointing right now. I need the Holy Ghost touching my mind, touching my mouth. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. You may be seated.